A top five matchup had a buzz in Bird Arena for the second straight night. The Bobcats took on the number one ranked Minot State. After defeating the Beavers 5-3 on Friday night, the second half of the weekend series was set to be an ultra competitive as ranking spots were on the line. OU quarterback Curtis Rourke was in attendance for the marquee matchup. Quickly after puck drop, Ohio was aggressive and found themselves up 2-0 eight and a half minutes in. Hollander Thompson scored the opening goal with Laker Aldridge quickly following suit on the power play. On the first power play of the game for Minot State, they capitalized to cut the lead in half. A one-timer from the point off the stick of Eric Soar had the Beavers right back in the game. After a competitive and tight first period, the game opened up and offensive chaos ensued. The Beavers came out of the locker room and scored two goals within the first minute 17. And not to be outdone, the Bobcats answered back with two goals of their own coming just 23 seconds apart. Both teams added one more goal to round out the second period, and the second intermission arrived with Ohio leading 5-4. With the Bobcats protecting a slim one-goal lead, Minot State was determined to fight back and earn a split with the two-game set. The Beavers put together a third-period barrage, dominating all aspects of the game, tying the game within the first four minutes with a goal from Joey Moffat and swiftly taking the 6-5 lead from Josh Patterson. Minot State added one more goal to go up by two. The Bobcats had power play opportunities with 11 and 8 minutes left in the third, down by two, but were not able to convert. Head coach Lionel Morone spoke on his team's inability to seize opportunities late. It's tough because I, I thought we had a good chance to get back into the game and we were pretty close cool. so a couple of shots that, you know, if we hit those, I think we we're, were right back in it and, and we missed and then you, you grip your stick a little tight and down the stretch we just didn't have the energy to get back. Despite three-point nights from Laker Aldridge and Luke Reeve, the Bobcats came up short losing 8-5. to five. They fall to 24-5-1 and one ahead of a game against Robert Morris next Saturday. For Bobcat Showcase, I'm Andrew Bowlby.